Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman and today in this video I am going to ask the solar wax um, what would be the torque of this wind turbine if I throw air at the speed of 10 meters per second. So keep watching this video till end and if you want to download these files for your practice I will leave the download link in the description of this video. So now we have to turn on the flow simulation add-in. So for that click on this SolarWax add-ins button here. If you uh, did not see this uh, SolarWax add-in uh, tab here, right click somewhere here, anywhere, wherever you want uh, to right click and then um, click on the tabs and in the tab you will see SolarWax add-ins or you can also turn on SolidWorks simulation by uh, clicking on this arrow next to the setting button and from here select add-ins and scroll down and here is the SolidWorks flow simulation. So uh, from SolidWorks add-ins uh, click on the SolidWorks sim uh, flow simulation here. It will take a while to turn on the SolidWorks uh, flow simulation. So here if you can see flow, uh, flow simulation tab is now turned on. So let's save this assembly first. Assembly and then click on save button. Now um, from the flow simulation click on wizard option and uh, name the project of your flow simulation and then hit next. So from here select unit system. So we have uh, uh, pre-selected the SI system international hit next and then as this flow simulation is going to be external so select external from here and uh, uh, of course this uh, simulation will be time dependent and uh, select the time of uh, duration of this of this simulation five seconds and uh, then hit next from here um, select your fluid type so we are going to apply air and for that expand the gases and from here double click on the air. From here select humidity. If you want to select uh, or apply humidity as well then you can select. Then hit next. Hit next and uh, so this is the initial condition of our flow, uh, fluid sim uh, flow simulation. So we are going to apply the velocity of 10 meters per second or from x direction x axis so uh, for that velocity in the direction of x type here 1 0 and if you can see this arrow is showing that the velocity will be like this in the x axis and uh, then hit finish so this is uh, this box if you can see uh, is the uh, computational domain uh, basically uh, in this area our computer will do uh, the flow simulation we have to make it uh, reduced click on this computational domain uh, here and then make it smaller like this what we are going to do uh, simply we have uh, what we are going to ask solid bugs about our flow simulation so uh, for that th this goals option is here right click on this and uh, then select insert global goals basically we are going to ask the solid bugs what would be the torque of these blades if uh, we throw air at the speed of 10 meters per second in this direction so as you can see the um, rotation of the torque um, will, will be uh, along this x axis so um, from here scroll down and at the end you will see uh, this torque torque in y torque in z so we are going to select torque in x direction and then press ok button one more thing which uh, we also would like to know from solid wax is that uh, what would be the force uh, um, on these faces due to this air of 10 meter per second so uh, as you you know this is the surface all these three are the surfaces 
तो वी हैव टू अप्लाई और वी हैव टू एड दी सर्फेस गोल राइट को लेकर उनकी गोल अगेन एंड फ्रॉम हेयर सेलेक्ट इन सर्ट सर्फेस गोल्स इफ यू कैन सी दिस बॉक्स को लेकर ऑन दिस बॉक्स एंड देन सेलेक्ट ऑल दीज थ्री सर्फेसेस ऑल दीज थ्री सर्फेसेस एंड देन स्क्रोल डाउन बेसिकली वेन वी नो दिस फोर्स द फोर्स विच इज एक्टिंग ऑन दीज थ्री प्लेट्स Uh, if once we get the value of this force, then we will add that value to our uh, SolarWorks analysis to know uh, the strength or the impact on these blades due to that force. So uh, we will calculate whether uh, these blades will break or not. So uh, scroll down from here and then um, search for force in the direction of x. So click on this box. वो चेक दिस बॉक्स फोर्स इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड देन स्क्रोल अप हेयर इफ यू कैन सी दिस ऑप्शन क्रिएट गोल फॉर ईच सरफेस तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो दोर्स ऑन ऑन ऑल दिस ब्लेड्स वन बाय वन यू कैन चेक दिस बॉक्स इफ यू अनचेक दिस बॉक्स दैन इट विल टेल यू दवर ऑल और एवरेज फोर्स ऑन ऑल दीज थ्री ब्लेड्स तो लीव इट अनचेक्ड and then press okay button now um, we have applied our conditions and goals um, now we can run this simulation so click on this run button here and select new calculation and from here select uh, run it will take some time to complete these uh, simulations okay now uh, you can see solver solver is finished now you can close this window and our results are ready to view so for that expand the results and uh, from here right click on goal plots and select insert so as we have uh, selected torque and force so uh, click on this select all and then select show so um for the torque if you can see the value of the torque um, is this this is the average value this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value of the torque so you can take this average value to your calculations and then we have the surface goal and this is the um, average value of the force which is acting on these blades um, in the direction of x axis so this is 5.71 now um what we can do okay click on okay and uh, uh, next step is that we can see how air will move through these uh, blades so uh, for that we can uh, make the float trajectories so right click on the float trajectories and then select insert and uh, then select this face and then from here select this option pick from screen then uh, if you can see these two arrows click this arrow and uh, drag it to the edge of this box uh, computational domain now uh, now uh, click on this arrow uh, pick points and then start dropping the points these are basically the points from where uh the flow trajectories will start now um scroll down here if you can see the arrow it's up to you um which type of flow tra trajectories you want to uh, see and then press okay button it will calculate and then you can see now um in the flow trajectories one right click on it and select play you can minimize the speed of this animation by play setting type here uh, instead of 500 type here let's say 30 and press okay button so here you if you can see the speed of the arrows so this is how you can do the solid box flow simulation to know the torque on a wind turbine due to the flow effect and as far as the factor of safety or uh, um, the maximum strength of these blades is concerned i will do another video on this topic uh, in solidworks simulation so 
uh, thanks for watching and sparing your time i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video